Hi everyone, Dawn here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. I've got you at a weird angle. There is the, my Demogorgon. And that up there is Luxie, if you're wondering. But um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. It's probably going to be a short video because I don't have much to say about this person. This is about Chantal, Foodie Beauty, whatever she goes by. I don't, I'm not extremely familiar with her because I don't watch her because I find her extremely uninteresting and just, I, I just see her as a, just a very nasty person. Like I know that Amber Lynn has said and done nasty things and, and things like that, but I still, I don't dislike Amber Lynn, but I, I have zero love for Chantal. I just, there's just nothing about her <laughs> that I care for. Um, but I was just going to touch on her little thing. She said that she doesn't support the LGBTQ community and um, forgive me if I got that wrong, but it, why is that necessary to say? What a bitch. And um, I know it's like her religion now because she has to change who she is for every man in her life because having a man is so much more important than anything else. Um, even though if you ask me, that twerp is no man at all. He's not a man. Give me a, hi duck. One of my ducks just walked by the window. Please, Sala isn't a man. He's a man child. He's a boy. He's an infant. Sorry, not a man. I'm married to a man, okay? Yeah, he's not a man. Um, but she would do anything to keep a penis in her life. That That's probably a better way to look at it. Um, she would do or say anything to the, the man she's hungering for just so she can have a man in her life because she's nothing without one. That's why she put up with abuse because she's nothing. She is nothing without a man. At least that's how she feels and she shouldn't feel that way. But, um, and just, just if you don't support the LGBT community, then don't support it, but keep your mouth shut. It's not necessary to say you freaking troll. And, um, and then the, the thing with the cat, I'm like, you leave your cat with Pete's, but you don't have, provide um, emergency information and a backup plan in case something happens to the poor cat. What a terrible pet owner. Just, and granted, I have not watched her, so I don't know a whole lot about her, but I do know the, this couple of things. And I mean, I would just, that's sick. I would never leave my, my dogs. It's like leaving my children. And, and, and apparently she was saying something like, I'm not supposed to live my life because of a cat. Um, your pets are part of your life. Sorry to tell you this, but if you don't consider your pets part of your life, then you shouldn't have them. That poor hamster. That poor dang hamster. Oh, man. Harry. Poor hamster. I hope they didn't get that poor thing for some, like, perverted thing, but poor hamster poor poor hamster but yeah your pets are part of your life yeah you're supposed to live your life but your pets are part of your life and if you don't look at your pets that way then don't friggin get them don't friggin get them and um you know I know I'm not a FFG fan but she's way more likable than this Chantel joke of a human personally if you have to know how I really feel um but like my dogs, I don't leave my dogs under anyone's care except for a relative. And, and it's, sorry, I had a beep. And if I do, they're provided with vet, vet in, their regular vet, the emergency vet, and you know, their care credit card, everything that they need to take care of my animals. I mean, for Christ's sake, they're your pets. They're part of your life. That's just the way it freaking is. Your pets are part of your life. If you don't want your pets to be part of your life, don't freaking get any. It's ridiculous. She's an absolutely ridiculous person. What a terrible human being. Like, why is she so nasty? And I know that she thinks it's because she's fat. So I'm fat, so I'm a terrible person. No, that's not why. You're, you're a terrible person because of the things you say and how you treat your pets and how you treat people in your life. And then, and you wanna to cry to us when something bad happens to you, but we're not supposed to point out when you're being a nasty human being, which is pretty much all the time it seems. It seems like any time I watch 
any of the channels I watch that talk about her ever, it's always some really bad shit she did, you know, or said, and, you know, I'm like, say what you want about Amber Lynn, but she's good to her pets, and she's definitely, she definitely supports the LGBTQ community. And again, if I'm saying that, I, I know it's like LGBTQIA or LGBTQ+. So if I'm saying that incorrectly, please correct me in the comments because I certainly don't want to offend anyone with my ignorance. But I certainly am an ally and uh, there's no reason to say if you're not. Just keep your mouth shut. If, if you don't have anything helpful to say, don't say shit. You know what I mean? And, um, but I've got to go, I, I got to put makeup on and stuff. So, um, I just wanted to spit this out there. Uh, um, okay. Sorry. I got distracted, but I will talk to everyone soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.